So hello everyone. I just um, recently remade, like remade, remade my website, and I sort of <clears throat> created a deployment system for it as well. So I'm going to show you um, <clears throat> the deployment system and how I use GitHub as a deployment tool. Okay, so <clears throat> let's just first uh, show you my website. Um, so if I go to uh, my website, it looks like this. Um, there isn't a lot of stuff here right now, but I will populate it more later, I think. <clears throat> I haven't really thought about, uh, like, I'm not entirely 100% uh, sure of this design, if I want it to look like this. I don't even know what, what I'm going to have on my website. I just know that I want to have a website, because it's cool to have a website, you know. You know, back in the old days, all developers had their own website, and they were, like, bragging about all the cool shit they had on their website, like animations and... Uh, you know, they made it look really uh, flashy and um, <clears throat> basically the person who had the coolest website won. So, uh, anyways, I got a little bit sidetracked there. So what I'm using is something called GitHub. Uh, GitHub has something called webhooks on there uh, that you can set up on their website. So if I go to uh, uh, GitHub, and if I go to like, um, I think we want to go to settings or something like that. Settings. Um, oh wait, it's actually, uh, so I need to go to github.com slash, uh, we need to go to my website repository, I think. So if I go to settings here, this is my website, by the way. Um, I have something called webhooks. I don't want to show you my webhook, okay? I don't want to show it to you. But it's basically just a... Wait, why don't I want to show it to you? <clears throat> yeah, I don't want to show it to you. But it's basically just a URL to a endpoint on my server. Um, so whenever I push... When I, whenever I commit something to this repository, um, GitHub sends a request to the endpoint that I specified here, uh, telling my server that, hey, uh, Sebastian uh, pushed, um, pushed to this repository. What do you want to do? So, and then I um, use a Python script to uh, deploy, redeploy my website on my DigitalOcean server. So I have a, a, a website on DigitalOcean. I have a server on DigitalOcean that is running a Python script and sort of uh, acts upon uh, webhooks coming, webhook requests coming from GitHub, okay? So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the script, okay? I actually have the script on my GitHub. Um, it's, um, it's here, GitHub hook. So I'm gonna open up uh, it in an editor for you guys. So if I open up, uh, yeah, let's open up the editor. So basically what it do, does is that it uh, it runs a Python Flask server, a web server, and it has a route here. So GitHub is posting to this route. GitHub is posting to this route. And then I read the JSON that GitHub is posting. Uh, let me show you what that JSON looks like. So uh, GitHub web hook response push event. So, um, here we go. So they have documented all of their events here. So I'm using the push event. So whenever I push to my repository, I get this payload from GitHub, okay? My server gets this payload. Um, so it's just a JSON blob. So this is that. This variable here contains this one that GitHub is sending to me. And then I'm just checking, uh, cause <clears throat> Okay, this is really weird. I don't know why they made it like this, but like all, like basically all other responses here, they have like an action key here saying which event it is. I think all of them has that action key, but not the push event. That's really weird because, um, so the push event, it doesn't have that, what the fuck? It doesn't have that, um, <clears throat> 
action gear. So um, what I'm doing is, but it, what it does have is this commits key, which the other uh, events doesn't really have, I guess. So I'm, I'm just making sure that we're, I'm getting the correct event. So if commits not in data, then I respond with uh, this event does not appear to be a push event because I am I'm only interested in push events. Okay. And then I read the repository name from the data that I get from GitHub. And if that repository name is in my config that I have specified, then I'm going to deploy it. Okay. So I pick the clone URL and I basically just clone the repository down in the repository. So if you will look at this download file function, uh, what it does is that it runs uh, Python git and it clones down the repository. And then I run deploy app uh, for that one. So uh, yeah, I deploy the application in my slash var slash vvv on my server. So remember, this script is running on my DigitalOcean server in the cloud. So, um, so uh, yeah, I just remove the old deployed version and I just replace it with the, the one that I cloned down. Um, and then I basically just uh, write config files for the application using uh, uh, Jinja templating. So I write the nginx file, the uh, I need template if it's a Python service. Now this is just a static HTML service, so it's it's just static, so I don't do that. So this Python flag is false for me. And I also generate the system uh, service file. Actually, this should also only be generated if it's a Python service, which it isn't. So I should probably add that check here as well. So that, uh, let's look at the templates. So these are the templates that are, are being written to my server. So I have an Nginx template and it just puts in data from the application that I'm deploying, the systemd template, ini template, and stuff like that. So my deployment system both supports deploying Flask applications, Python applications, which has backend and stuff, and it also supports just deploying static HTML files. So if we looked at my, uh, <clears throat> my website, it's just static, okay? It doesn't have a backend or anything. But, uh, okay, so what's happening here is that um, I have defined in my config, which is running on my server, that, uh, okay, so I want to be able to deploy my repository ion urchin, and here's the nginx config that I want to use. So, yeah, and then it just push uh, puts this, this data into the nginx template and writes it on the server. So, uh, yeah, and I Python false, HTTPS true, because I want to use HTTPS. Um, so for example, if we look at the HTTPS variable here and we go into the nginx template, I have some if statements here, okay? So this is Jinja templating. So um, uh, if HTTPS, then I want to redirect to HTTPS. And if HTTPS, then I have this HTTPS SSL configuration, okay? So that's how it works. Now I'm gonna show you uh, how I do to deploy stuff. So if I go to my website, currently looks like this. Let's say I want to show, uh, change something here, okay? Well, it's very easy to change something. Well, so what I can do is that I just uh, go into my repository directory. So it's my website. No, that was not my website, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's called blog, I think. So there we go. So here's the repository that I showed you here. This is this, okay? Um, so uh, now if I... Um, <clears throat> Let's say I want to change index.html. So let's say I want to change this to uh, Sebastian. Then, well, how do I deploy that? Well, I just do a git push, okay? So I just add that, git commit m, uh, change h2 content. Now, if I do git push, the my server on DigitalOcean will uh, um, will uh, redeploy the application because it's getting a post from uh, GitHub. So now if I go to my website and I ref refresh a couple of time, it does have a downtime in like a couple of seconds, but there we go, it's deployed. So uh, so that's very easy to deploy stuff, okay? Let me show you a little bit more in depth. Uh, if I go to like, uh, 
if I log into my server on DigitalOcean, so now I'm inside my server. Now if I do tail f var log nginx access.log, we will actually see here when GitHub makes the post. So let's deploy something again. Let's actually bring this next to here. Wait, let's bring it there. So now we have my server log. Um, wait. So now we have my server log down there and the editor here and we're doing the git stuff there. So now let's say, let's change this back to iNerpson. Let's make a commit. And you will see here when I write push that we're getting a post from GitHub, okay? Revert h2 git push. And we should see a post from GitHub here if everything works correctly. Wait, maybe it doesn't show there because, um, wait, why wouldn't it show there? Isn't that weird? Why isn't it showing in my log? It was deployed though, right? It was deployed, but I didn't see it in my log. Why did I, why did I see it in my log? That's really weird. Maybe it doesn't log that request for some reason. Should have done. It's like it's getting an error or something. No, it's not. Um. I should. I think we should see a uh, log here though. So tail f. So here we're seeing stuff. So there we can see the post request from GitHub. Um, write error. So we've got to write. I don't know. It works, but weird. Oh well. So uh, <clears throat> let's uh, deploy again and just uh, let's add an exclamation mark there. I want to show you getting the post request. So now you should see the post request here. <laughs> okay, we're getting that for some reason. There we go, we got the post request. I don't know why I'm getting this broken pipe thing, that's weird. Anyway, that works because it's uh, deployed obviously and we got the post request. So yeah, that's basically how I deploy my website. So I'm just gonna revert it again. Oh, it's probably because, okay, so, okay. Oh, it's just a warning. I am actually, uh, there we go, we should be rolled back. Yeah, so I am actually doing systemctl diamond reload, but it's just giving me a warning that it that I should do it. But I do I I think I I think my script does it off after the warning has been thrown, you know, because I'm doing uh, here. You can see I'm running some commands here. Systemctl. Oh, I'm running the wrong command. And that's why. Okay, so that's why we're seeing the error. So it should be like that. Okay. Best commit message in the history, fix. Anyway guys, that's how I use, uh, <clears throat> um, how I use uh, uh, GitHub to deploy my website on my DigitalOcean server. Now, um, this, uh, if we're going to the server, you can see that uh, this GitHub hook script is running. If I do like system CTL status, GitHub hook, it's running. So this this is the um, this is this service running. So if you want to use this on your server, you can just uh, I guess clone it down. I guess. Um, yeah. So uh, 
Yeah, I think there's some instructions in this file on how to deploy it. Um, but yeah, it works really well. I really like this system. I Previously, I was like deploying manually, but I don't know. Yeah, nowadays people are using like uh, Kubernetes and shit. So um, I sh actually show this uh, script to this system to my friend. He's like this Kubernetes geek. And he was just laughing at me because... Um, because they are using like, uh, um, what is what's the tool they are using? Um, what's it called? Um, what is it called? Oh, oh well, I don't remember what it's called. Called, but you write like UML files to deploy it, and it has this built-in deployment script. I don't know. They are using that. Uh, I think it's called Ansible, maybe. So he was just laughing at me, but I mean, it's just my private website. It's not. It's not like it's a huge corporate website. Um, so this this uh, this is perfectly fine for me. You know, it hasn't be. It's, it doesn't have to be too more advanced than this. You know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to show you how to how I deploy my website using GitHub.